everyone, this is more of my Place and Moonster career mode here on FC24. And this will be the Season 1 finale here in this particular career mode, as we are going to be ending this season against 1860 Munich. Which, by the way, take a look at that dude's hair. Isn't that the most interesting or awesome hair in, that you've ever seen? But, um, yeah, we are going to go ahead and play this home finale. Hope we will get to see... Uh, Paris and Munster lift the Dritte Liga title, and then of course after this game we'll be doing end of the season stuff. But before we do that, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, the relegation playoffs are taking place at the 29th. I'll probably sim to like June 4th just to be safe. But um, we are going to go ahead. We're going to play with our... I'll, I'll look at development plans after this game whenever we actually look at stats. And the only players that are not at least 70 rating at this point are Justin Che, our right back, and Rico Preisinger, our center back. But everybody else is looking really good. And as far as our bench, we have one player in the 70s, in Malagone, and everybody else is around mid to high 60s. Which the lowest rated players are Zimmerman and Muchama at a 66, which is pretty darn good, even for a team that's on the verge of going up to the Svai Bundesliga, but... Without further ado, oh, and I should say just, I, I apologize ahead of time, but during this video, I am going to be eating. I, I just, I, as a matter of fact, I just got home and I just got lunch and um, I really didn't want to wait until after lunch to record this. So I am going to be eating while I'm playing this. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. Okay, let's see. Opponent sim color. We're going to have default. Their default should be sky blue. But perfectly clear skies at the Paris and Sadie, and even though it's showing raindrops in the background. But yeah, I, I'm I'm still a little bit peeved that this... I, I That I had to abandon the... Um... The Youth Academy aspect in this particular career mode, but at the same time, I'm happy with where our team is right now because I don't know how long it would have actually taken us to have a competitive team if we had to rely on just our Youth Academy. And you see Malik Batmans is only one goal away from the 30 uh, goal plateau, which would be the first time anybody from the Dritte Liga has achieved such a feat. Okay, Batman, can you get the... Oh, look at him muscle past it. Can you get goal number 30? Yes, you can. And let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Now we go. And that is goal number 30 for a Turkish captain. 30 goals in 25 matches. He is going to be a big part of this team going forward. Even if eventually we get a, a new starting striker, I do plan him plan to have him at least on the bench. <laughs> ah, that was sick. That's Farag that's in on the action now. Right, passing to Koningsdorfer. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to Stim and because like I said, I am eating right now, so and there we go. Oh I, did... I don't know why he passed it back to whoever, but Koningsdorfer does get and gives us that third goal. Batman is a perfect 10 so far. First, it's, this is their first real attack. They're going to score, aren't they? No, no, no. Okay, good. 
terrible first touch by Larson. Ah, oh, you did that! You did all that work blocking that shot just for it to deflect right back to the 1860 guy. That was a lousy goal to give up if I do say so myself. Made a little pass to himself there. Ah, uh, I wouldn't have made that pass. Doing, doing good maintaining possession. But somebody shoot the ball. Thank you. Larson makes it four to one now. So, Larson, Ferrari, Koningsdorfer, and Batman as with goals. Can we make it five? I'm not jumping in. Let's just see how we do in corners and sim matches. The Pressinger would be my main man if I jumped in. Ah! That's a rather insipid shot by Perkovic there. And instead of the opponent scoring right before halftime, we score right before halftime. And once again, Che. I don't know what it is about Che, but once again, he is our lowest performing player for us here. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to put Chad in there. Mmm, Preisinger. I do want to give Zimmerman. I'm sorry, Preisinger, but Zimmerman has better match sharpness, and I do want to get him more game time, so. Unfortunately, if we have to do a corner. If we have any more corners, we're going to have to just do it without Preisinger then. Come on, get the ball. In any case, any of you... Of course we score. I mean, uh, they score, rather. If any of you are curious about exactly what I'm eating, I'm sure none of you care, but just in case, I am eating fish and chips right now, so... Nice little lunch. Okay, did we... What the, are we? Guys, what's going on? Did we not come out of the locker room or what? Okay, Bukhari leading the way. That's right, adds a fifth. We're going to jump to the sim now. Okay, hopefully we won't hear any more awkward silence. Ah! Uh, even... No. No. That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable, Waversitz. Why did you not rush him? You could have gotten that ball. That was absolutely unacceptable goalkeeping, in my opinion. Yeah, no, that's not pass it to Batman. You know, he, he only has 30 goals of the season. My, my, my team is acting like a... Uh, they did not come out of the locker room in the second half. They couldn't have. Okay, let's see. Why the hell is... Zimmerman! Ooh! Well, Zimmerman's got a head on him in corners. Okay, there we go. 
Listen, you could have done, should have done better with that. I can't believe this game is as close as what it is, if I'm being honest. We really... We should not have let this game this close. That's offside. Guys! Of course, I can't really blame my team. It's freaking EA. Because, of course, those of you are probably wondering if you wanted to get the guy directly... But EA thought I was going to cry... It's, it's crap like that that make players look like they don't understand the rules of football. But the way EA game EA programs their football games, I'm convinced they're the ones that don't understand the rules of the game. Like, obviously I was not going to pass it to Larson. I was going to make whoever was making that run along the left-hand side. Because I understand the offside rule. I understood that if I would have caught it to Larson, I would have been offside. And that is 31 goals in the campaign for Batmas. Are we not going to get... Okay. I was going to say, last home game of the season, we should be lifting a trophy. As Price and Moonster, not only have secured automatic motion to the, the Survivor Bundesliga, but they will be doing so as Drifted Liga champions. And deservedly so, because... As the season went on, this this team has felt so much better than what they did at the beginning of the season. And, and how beautiful is that with those buildings in the background, too? But yeah, Price and Moonster, one step closer to joining Germany's elite. And of course, the awesome trophy that our top goal scorer, Batman, will be lifting. And Poison Moonster are Dritta Liga Meisters. As far as what I want to do in terms of transfers at the beginning of the next season. I really don't plan on making any actual transfers. I may explore the free agent market again and see if there's any high-rated um, players that manage to slip through the net. Because that's how I got nowhere O'Bear in my um, Elvis Bear career mode. He was a high-rated, high-potential striker that I just happened to find in my uh, the free agent market. And he ended up turning into a 90-rated player by the end of the third fourth season with um, Elversberg. But we are going to look at end of the game stats. Match facts. We had better possession. Okay, passing accuracy, they had better passing accuracy. They had better shooting accuracy, but they had better dribble success rate. But everything else, we pretty much... They had, they had made more saves, had more interceptions, and had a free kick, but... We pretty much had... A decent performance. Batman's no surprise, he's the man of the match. You see, Bonga with a goal for and tur Bonga, Turnet, Reader, and who was the other goal scorer? Oh, uh, they, they only scored three goals, duh. But Picard with two assists for us. Batman's with two goals and assists. Koenig's the with the goal. Ferrari with two goals and assists. Lewis with the goal. Sanchez with an assist. But we are going to go ahead and advance.
But we are going to be swimming ahead of here. 1.6 for... Um... Winning the Dritta Liga. But let's go ahead and save first. Before we... Because like I said, we are going to sim to around the, the 4th of June. But let's see. Mocha has been sold to Swansea, so thank you for your services, but it was time to move on. We're going to go ahead and sim. Let me stop! If we end up losing this guy because it won't let me freaking... Tom Klein. Okay, let's see Tom Klein. Tom Klein, 18 minute. Yeah, I'll go ahead and promote you. If we would have ended up losing him because the game w did, would not let me freaking stop the simulation, I would have been pissed. Like, how many times do I have to push the button, yay? EA really needs to fix their game. Not like they really give a shit, but they really do need to fix their game. And yes, I, I am... G because if they really did care about this game, they would have changed... They would have... They would have fixed all these bugs that we... Uh, have been keeping on seeing since like FIFA 20. They, they, this company just does not care about their product. They don't. They do not care. Oh, I, I'm gonna correct myself. They do care as long as it's Ultimate Team. But if it's career mode, forget it. Okay, Young, a right back. Left back slash right back. Oh, I can't, I can't promote him because he's freaking too young. Silver, I am going to promote you, though. Your, your potential is ass. But while we're here, let's go ahead and look at the Youth Academy. Theodore Fisher, 59 to 60. Okay, we are going to train him to be a right back. He is 16, so I can promote him if I wanted to. Okay, five weeks, no matter what, we're going to make him five star, five star. Uh... Shaper, I'll make him five star, five star. Okay. Let's go ahead and save one more time. Now let's take a look at the final table here. As you can see, Poison Mooster finishing three sh three points shy of, of the Centurion mark. Though we did score 121 goals, which is awesome. English Jack will be joining us at this five bonus league. Uh, Sandhausen will be taking on the third worst team in the uh, Spy bonus league. Vard Vardoff just m missing off by three points. All four of the promoted teams survived. And if, well, actually, no, three out of the four. I'm sorry. Yeah, three out of the four promoted teams survived. The only one that didn't was Utah Hawking, which 
end up finishing bottom. And if relegation was a thing, they'd be joined by Hauser, Vero, and Borussia Dortmund Zwei. I keep on thinking that that uh, Rotzweiss Essen is a promoted club and not it's ourselves, Lübeck, Ulm, and Unterhaken who that were promoted teams. Uh, relegation playoffs. Looks like Sandhausen will be joining us and and Ingolstadt in the Zwei Bundesliga. Osnabrück will be relegated. Okay, let's see. Not that I believe Manchester City won the Super Cup 2-0. We missed out on the European Cup by one point. I don't like how they did the... I don't like how they do the uh, preseason tournament either. I think it's... I mean, it is like real life, but they should have just left it alone. Okay, Champions League was won by Man City in a rematch of last year's final. Europa League was won by Porto over Bayern Munich. That's interesting. And Conference League, Villarreal beat Arsenal. Speaking of Champions League, let's see. Where's Newcastle at? Liverpool should not be in the... Liverpool and Spurs should not be in the Champions League. Chelsea should not be in the Champions League. EA, go home. You're drunk. Okay, objectives. Okay, Youth Academy, we completed both of those. We have 23 players eligible next season to play in 10 matches. Is easy by the starting level. We should easily do that. And, of course, sign four players in each of the, academy, each of the areas of the pitch. We placed three players on a team, which we've done. This one was very low priority. We did sell two players and sign one crucial, but we do have some unspent transfer budget. Fighting for promotion, not only did we do that, but we ended up winning the entire division. Okay, let's take a look at the other leagues. Before we go to the Bundesliga, I want to see who ended up getting in the so Hamburg, in traditional fashion, missed out on automatic promotion. As a matter of fact, they missed out on the promotion picture altogether. I think it was because we bought Koningsdorfer and Ferrari off of them. But Schalke and Hertha will be going back up to the Bundesliga. Hanover may or may not be joining them. It just depends on how the, their playoff goes. We'll have to keep a mental note of that. Relegated teams are Osnabrück, Elversberg, and Holstein Kiel, which... Holstein Kiel is a surprise considering they're on top of the table at the time of recording this in real life, and I'm recording this on January 19th. Bundesliga, Borussia Dortmund won, Bayern Munich finishing third, Leverkusen finishing second, Leipzig rounding out the Champions, Champions League spots, Frankfurt and Mönchengladbach will be playing European football. And relegated sides are Stuttgart, of all teams, and Heidenheim. Werder, Mayman, Werder Bremen will be taking on Hanover for the promotion relegation spot. So I'm going to have to take a mental note of that. But we are going to take a look at transfer history here. So Maroka, of course, we saw he's going to be going to Swansea City on a permanent. Corliss, Werner... Going out on loans, uh, on loan, Papadopoulos got on loan, Melo we going on a free, Che, we end up signing, Lorenz is going to Holstein Kiel, he'll be staying in the uh, Dritte Liga, unfortunately for him, Benjamin, Shevchek, Shaq, the Horst, Koenig, going on on loan, Amari going on loan as well, Dieter is going to the Romanian League permanently, Dimitrios, Shabin going out on loan, Bunch of other players that we sign. And you see all the other ones that we managed to get rid of. And then Thomas Conk, our CDM, is going to Andorra. Well, he did go to Andorra. So he'll be playing in the second division of Spain.
to take a look at our first team. Like I said, well, Che is now up to 70, so the only player that's not at least a, six, a 70 rating is Preisinger at a 68. I may look to bring in a, a higher rated center back, though I do want to keep Preisinger in the team, though, at least as a backup. Batman is now up to 72. Um, okay, let's look at our backup team. Gindavan is now at a 62. Buchama is now at a 66. Van Dyven is now up to a 70. Shevchuk has gone up to a 68. He's grown by like 8 or 9 this season, which I'm tickled pink about his growth. But we are going to take a look at stats. Should be no surprise that Batman's 31 11 through 25 appearances is our top goal scorer. Buchama, 15 and 8 through 24, a pretty decent campaign for him. If there's anybody in particular that you want to look at, you can go ahead and pause the video. Shevchuk has grown by 8, so 68 still awesome growth. Anything higher than 5 is fantastic growth. Conor Stewart has grown by 3 and half a season, which is pretty darn good. McGrath grown by two, despite not having that high of overall. Che, our new right back, has grown by three. Shevchuk is now at a 65. Benjamin has grown by a couple more. He went from a 55, 59 to a 61. So I'm tickled pink about that. Mueller, I'm planning on loan listing him because Malagon will be my new backup goalkeeper. You see a whole bunch of the Shevchenko group here. Some of them will be going out on loan. Some of them I'm going to try to send out on loan. Perkovich grown by a couple. To, he's out at 71 in the, the little time that we've had him. But before we look at individual stats, we are going, I am going to go ahead and add him to the loan list. I'm going to add Valenzuela to the loan list. And I am going to be adding Silva to the loan list. Hopefully he gets some game time for another club and hopefully that will bump up his uh, potential. But we are going to go ahead and look at stats. And I'm also going to be looking at development plans at the same time. Which, two weeks for him to get to 74. He probably would have been already at a 74 had I paid attention to his development plan beforehand. Broca, his final stats before he joined Swansea. Best of luck to him on his adventure in England. We'll keep him on a sweeper. Bazzoli. 11 weeks to be a 66. I'll take that. Colas, I really don't care about because he's going to be going out on loan. Okay, Perkovic. Okay, do I I, I kind of want to keep building on his pace. Okay, Zimmerman is on bad form, but it's still only going to take 11 weeks, so I'll definitely take that. You can see Shad and Che, our two right backs, and Papadopoulos. He'll be going out on loan, hopefully. Okay, 81 weeks on okay form, I'll take that. Eric Sanchez, 79 weeks, which he's already a decent rating as it is. 23 weeks on good form, uh, that kind of worries me a little bit. We'll make Larson 5 star, 5 star. Tom Klein. We'll make him 5 star, 5 star. Werner. Same thing, we'll make him 5 star, 5 star. Farai, looks like he'll be going 4 weeks as a dyno under the Dynamo plan. Kiewa, hopefully he'll be going out on loan. Buchama. He's already 5-star, five 5-star, five which I'm happy about that. 
You can see a whole bunch of wingers now. Very camp. I don't really care about him, to be honest. Batman's, let's see. 72 weeks on excellent form, though. I think that is going to change at the beginning of the season. Van Dyven. Tell you what, if Van Dyven plays like he's been, he may overtake Batman's next season. Would be a little bit of competition in that striking position. And that should be it. And for, as far as season one, um, Season 2, you guys will be seeing a Season 2 a couple days from now, but I'll be taking up uh, a little bit of time to try to figure out what I want to do with this team. Like I said, I do want to bring in a new, possibly a new starting center back, possibly a new backup center mid. Every other area of the pitch I am liking, so I don't think I really have to do too much. Possibly a new backup center attacking mid, just depends on how much Buchama grows. Next season, but I really don't plan on making a whole lot of business at the beginning of next season. I'm looking at two, possibly three signings to open up next season, but it should be a rather exciting one, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to season two. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.